Guys, Mark Goldberg here from Mark Vlogs Watches with a quick word for your friend and mine, Archie Luxury, Paul Pluta, AC3, Archibald Chesterfield III. You know, he invented the quick whist watch check, and uh, the rest of us on YouTube, well, we just stole it. Help keep Archie full-time on YouTube by liking this video, watching this video, tell your fuckhead friends, and make sure to subscribe to his Patreon. And now, Archie Luxury. Hi guys, Paul Pluta, Paul Pluta Channel. Today guys, I'm doing a paid review. This is a paid review. This is for James. And James came to me with a problem. Uh, I'll read you his thing. This is, this was originally, this was, this was, ad, this was the reference number 9N5. And I, I, I said to him, hey, I needed more information. He goes, dear Archie, sorry for the late reply. As I've been traveling on business at the moment, it is fucking mad schedule this time of year. I hope this email finds you well and that your son is improving each day as depression doesn't have an easy fix, as we all know. I think we've all suffered with it in our life. Uh, suffered with it uh, in our life at some point. And... If we are honest, we all still do from time to time without even knowing it at times. Anyway, to be honest with you, uh, I am over the clock bait issue now. They were rude cunts to my daughter and myself for no reason. I don't know, they're just assholes. And why? But you know what? They will never have our watch collection. And they, while they film shitbox cars, my daughter just got, my daughter just got her a new Porsche. Fuck! and change my cars every year so i guess i get the last laugh uh give it a sh give a shout out on your next live stream that would encourage others to send money uh i say set i sent you the money for christmas buy yourself some decent liquor with the 200 dollars pour i would highly recommend you try 10 laddie scotch it is special uh special comes in a tiffany blue cylinder at dan's not too expensive at 51% and it will knock your socks off. It did the first time I had it. I will come up with some more paid content for you uh, of a more positive nature once I get over the last week about watches that we can all enjoy that do that you do so well, Mr. Pluto. I think you should do a sp serious piece of content, get serious review and revenue uh, with all the experience over the years using clickbait thuns, why I fell out of love with Rolex but done properly, no swearing, acting at a good story so that you get all the re revenue and not demonetized, leading into why you now own five paddocks. It'll probably get 100,000 views over the holiday season. So James, I am now making this video. Okay, so the topic today is why I fell out of love with Rolex. And I want to make this video here. Why did I fall out of love with Rolex? And I, 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 I got to tell you, in all honesty, I think Rolex is a fantastic maker of watches. They are a great maker. They make quality watches. Um, however, I have fallen out of the fold. Yes, I have. I currently know, own no men's Rolex. I do have some ladies, but you guys get funny when I count them as part of the collection. So why is it that I've gone so heavily paddock? And I, I've got to be completely honest with you. I, I honestly believe most people are morons. I think the world we live in, the status quo, the majority vote are fucking idiots. Okay, I will be honest with you. So I kind of, I look at something like you look at the most popular car in America or the most popular this. And if something is so popular, I've got to worry because the average Joe is, I do have contempt for some of these decision makers. And I got to tell you myself that why did I um, move, what to, to quote it properly, why I fell out of Rolex. And, I gotta tell you, let's not look at the, the watches themselves there, but let's look at some of the social aspects. I fell out of Rolex because a lot of Rolex owners are no longer true enthusiasts. There was a time when 
you could go up to someone with a Rolex and they were nine times out of ten they were Rolex fanboys I went to my local Vietnamese watch I said oh nice GMT he said it's a Rolex he didn't understand it's a Rolex GMT uh, so you're finding a lot of people now they're buying it and they're not enthusiasts um, they're kind of they bought it for the starter symbol so I think a lot of the the Rolex buyers are they are um, they're wanting to ride on the coattails of Rolex okay so that's that's one one very good reason there the other thing is that I've got to tell you is that with Rolex itself there so many people so many people recognize it and treat you differently I had the woman in Thailand who tried to pick me up I mean let's be completely frank and honest with you I mean fuck me dead I'm morbid I was probably not morbidly obese but I'm obese I was over th I'm under I'm under 300 pounds but fuck me dead come on you know I'm not a skinny good looking guy I need a lot of exercise I need a lot of diet you're picking me up because of my watch how fucking shallow are you how fucking shallow what about my if she wanted to pick me up because of my 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 views on contemporary literature my love for Ernest Hemingway my um, fascination with uh, luxury European automobiles that would be cool but to want to pick me up because I have a Rolex Rolex Submariner two-tone that's just enough to make me want to vomit okay just, that's enough to make me want to vomit and there are probably guys who are watching this vid who are gonna sign up for a Rolex um, Rolex Submariner I'll put a link in the description um, I'll put a link there I'll put a link in the description here uh, I'll put the link in there that's the the video on how women I could uh, Rolex and and uh, pick up uh, I, I don't want to be picked up by by bitches who look at my watch and judge me to be <coughs> money bags I mean fuck that's that I just find it I mean yeah she was attractive she she had uh, she was probably a st 8 out of 10 she was 8 out of 10 um, she was sexy yes yeah, she was cool but I don't want to be picked up because of my Rolex I want to be picked up for uh, my my views on contemporary architecture in a modern England I want to be picked up for my views on um, my, my, my love for example having this book here yours truly this is a, um, a book on uh, the, the power of writing a letter I'd want to be picked up for that not picked up because I have a fucking two-tone fucking submariner on my fucking wrist <coughs> it's just depressing the fourth reason that I've, I've, I've honestly, um, why I fell out, it's to do with, with, I've always looked up to Patek Philippe. They've always been fucking expensive, fucking expensive. And as Rolex has gone up, <coughs> certain paddocks, the sports paddocks are through the roof, but certain paddocks, which are quality watches, have actually, um, become reasonable and I gotta tell you for me any day of the week I'd much rather have a Patek Philippe in precious metal on a leather strap than a fucking Rolex I can tell you that it's um, this is a 5196 I think it is absolutely beautiful I mean there's no Rolex I know they're different genres but this is magic it's a Patek Philippe, it's like a Rolls Royce. I mean, fuck, fuck. I think the price, different. The price is how they. Paddock was always so much more expensive. Now the the the, the price difference has has shrunken. I'd want to cash out of um, fucking Rolex. Cash out of Rolex and buy Paddock. It's a good time to jump ship. Um. Uh, and and that that's that that's really that's really the the, the way I, I I felt with it. The fifth reason is is that I've got to be totally honest with you. A lot of the other internet YouTubers there, 
They're all these are YouTubers I despise. Rodent one. He's what does he do? As soon as he got a paid gig, he's buying Rolex, 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 Rolex. Well, Rodent one, I hate your guts. I hate you. I hate your. Um, I hate everything about you. You're a piece of shit. Uh, I used to be your friend, and you're a cunt. You're a fucking grub. And, uh, you know, the only thing that's fair in your life is that your fucking father ripped off your mother. I think, you know, maybe, you know, anything to hurt and harm you, I think is good. And uh, you've got some severe daddy issues. I've spoken to you on the phone, you fucking asshole. And i got to be honest with you, I'm really pleased. I'm really pleased that you don't see your dad. And uh, I'm really pleased that, you know... You're so bitter and nasty and you've gone into Satan because you've just, everything's been a wah, 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 wah. But I don't want to have anything to do with a brand that you so covet because I think you're the lowest form of life, worse than cockroaches that have been blasted in a nuclear reaction. Uh, the other thing is they got, you got would -bees if they could be, you got Bark and Jack, Bark and Jack, my good, I love Bark and Jack, but... You know, ah, oh, too many people having Rolex, man. I want to get out. I want to get out. You got Fatso? 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 You know, he's Spruken Moser. Fuck me, Dad. What, 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 what dog shit advice? And, you know, I think, well, I want to go paddock. Paddock, paddock, paddock and pussy. Paddock and pussy. That's the meaning of life. Paddock and pussy. Paddock and pussy. Paddock and pussy. Paddock and pussy. Paddock. That is the meaning of life. Uh, the other reason I want to get out of Rolex, the other reason I want to get out of Rolex is that, you know, when I had Rolex, when I own Rolex watches, guess what? I don't wear my Panex or my Jager Lecoult. JJ Lecoult. Uh, because now I've got the, um, the JJ, that's my beta, that's my sports watch. When I had Rolex, I'd always wear Rolex because it's so versatile. I don't want to get it damaged. I don't want to get my good stuff damaged. Well, fuck me dead. Fuck me dead. I'm the wrong side of 47. And I really do want... I want the money. I want the, I want the life. I want to live my life and enjoy my material goods. I want the goods. I want the materialistic goods. I want to lead... I want to enjoy these paddocks... I don't know how long I got left. I want to enjoy them now. It's time to stop wearing the Tudors. Stop wearing the, the Rolex. I want to wear Paddock. And J, JJ Lacoute is my... That's my, my beta. That's my sports sports watch. Sports watch. Um, I tell you what. Once my strap... I'm getting a strap from Custom Straps. Adrian or Aaron? Aaron from Custom Straps custom straps once i get that i'll be putting it on my paddock and i'll be wearing that paddock every fucking day paddock and pussy pussy and paddock paddock and pussy that's the way the world goes i don't need fucking rolex i don't want a fucking rolex to to, to confuse the mix i want paddock and pussy paddock and pussy paddock and pussy that's what I want to focus on. Paddock and pussy. Paddock and pussy. Paddock and pussy. That is what the meaning of life is. Paddock and pussy. Paddock and pussy. So for me, I like the respect that I get from having five paddocks. Uh, I can't afford to have everything. I can't afford to have everything. So I'd like to do paddock well instead of having a mismatched combo meal deal. So I've got six watches. I'd like to get one more. Yes, I would, but... I gotta pay off some credit card debt. I gotta pay off my old man. I gotta pay Dave back, and I gotta pay. I gotta pay some bills. I got bills to pay. So, I think for me at this moment in time, this stage in my life, paddock and pussy, paddock and pussy. That's what I want to do. Um, <clears throat> to answer this, why I fell out of love, I gotta tell you that it's. Rolex itself there, I don't like the way they're so scarce. This is all artificial. It's all the Chinese, the Chinese, you know. The Chinese, I mean, I despise most people. I hate people. I hate people. People are morons. Well, anything worse than people are the Chinese. And they're really nasty. And they're, they're the ones who've controlled this Rolex rigged game. Well, you can stick it up your ass. 
I don't fucking care. I ain't playing your game. I'm going to profit out of your inability to comprehend horology, your inability to make anything, um, you know, your inability to have creative thought and free freedoms. That's what I want is freedoms. So I've got to tell you, man, paddock and pussy, paddock and pussy, paddock and pussy. That is what the important thing in our life is. Paddock, pussy, paddock, pussy, paddock and pussy, paddock and pussy. So for me, I fell out of Rolex because the brand is owned by, there's a whole lot of turds out there. Really, not, Rodent One, I hate his guts. Uh, i got to tell you, even the Clivers, Clivers himself, he was a big Rolex boy. Well, he's gone into Breitling and I, I don't know if it's... I'd really, Rolex is just so fucking boring, it's boring man, it just bores the shit out of me, it fucking bores me, it's boring, 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 I don't want fucking boring shit, I want exciting, I want exciting stuff, I don't want fucking boring, 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 I want exciting things to happen in my life, I want to be thrilled and I want to wear paddock and pussy, and you know, I tell you what, your whole attitude, when you wear paddock, your whole attitude changes, you just... You just got confidence. Rolex pulls you down. Paddock, you just, when you wear paddock, you just, everything is just, I mean, Charlie Sheen, everyone ridiculed Charlie Sheen, but he's right. Winning. You got to be winning, 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 winning. Loser germs of Rolex. Losers, loser germs, loser germs, loser. I want winning. I want to be winning, 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 winning. Charlie Sheen was 100% right. You don't understand until you got multiple paddocks. Okay, you don't understand, but anyhow, guys, that's the reasons why I fell out of love with Rolex. Um, tell me what you think, guys. Like, subscribe, tell your fuckwit friends, and guys, don't be afraid. I do paid, paid. You pay me fifty US dollars, I'll make a video on any topic, any topic you name. I will make the vid. I will make the vid. I will do it for you, and I will do it relatively fast. The backlog's not that bad. Uh, so, guys, please come to me, tell me what you think, like, subscribe, tell your fuckwit friends and don't be afraid to get me to make a video for you because man cannot live on Google Ads alone. Google Ads is not enough. Okay, guys, until next time, ciao, fucker, roonies. Okay, next video. David SW. David S.W. David S.W. Who does Archie Luxury recommend is the greatest grey market dealer in America? There's only one choice. David S.W. That's right, guys. I've got to tell you the honest truth. I have, for a long time, been looking for the perfect answer. Who do I recommend people go to see? Who do I recommend that people can go and uh, buy watches. And I've got to be honest with you, the greatest, the greatest pre-owned dealer for Rolex, Padek Philippe, Audemars Piguet, is David SW. David SW! David SW! David SW.com. That's right, guys. I have been looking for a contact who I can very nicely refer people too. I am not in the selling business. Customer service. I'm too old to sell watches. I'm too old. I like to recommend my viewers to a reliable source. In Australia, I've got some great sources. There's uh, Sydney Watch Exchange with Cove. Ronnie at Vintage Watch Co. Shani. Shani at European Watch Gallery. And in America, who is the best source for pre-owned Rolex, for all the hot models, there's only one person I would recommend, David SW. David SW, David SW. That is the premier source for pre-owned Rolex. I gotta be completely frank and honest with you. Guys, if you are looking for a hot Rolex model, there is only one place you can go to. David SW, David SW, David SW. Let's be honest, guys. There's no point schmoozing, schmoozing, schmoozing the dealers, the ADs. They're just a waste of time. Unless you're going to buy 20 pieces, you are wasting your time. 
what you're better off to do is pay the market premium and go to a good, good pre-owned dealer. Who do I recommend? David SW. David SW. David SW. That's correct, guys. I want to tell you this now. I 100% stand behind David SW. David SW, the greatest pre-owned dealer in the entire United States of America. That's right. The greatest pre-owned dealer for Rolex, for Patek Philippe, for Audemars Piguet, David SW. He even does things like FP Jean. David SW, David SW, David SW. That's right. If you want to buy a pre-owned Rolex, a Patek Philippe, Audemars Piguet, there's only one good source I would recommend. David SW, David SW, David SW. I'm Paul Pluto, the method actor who plays Archibald Chesterfield III, and I'm proud to recommend David S.W. See you later. Thank you for watching this channel. Hey guys, Archie Luxury. Archie Luxury does Louis Vuitton. Guess what guys? I've got my own little box back. It's come back and it looks beautiful. I missed him so much. I missed him. I missed my little Crawfit Trezo, and uh, I love him. I just love him to death. Love him to death. I love him, Louis Vuitton. Friendships.